This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. In addition to Honey Badger's great error monitoring service, they also have an uptime monitoring for web developers. And Honey Badger has recently shipped an update that allows for public status pages that can help communicate outages to your customers. In addition to your uptime monitoring, Honey Badger now monitors your SSL certificates. And Honey Badger now has actions which will allow you to do bulk updates to all your errors, or you can set defaults for incoming errors. In this episode, we're going to have a look at the no object pattern and how we can use it in a Ruby on Rails application. And really, I think it's going to be most beneficial in situations where we want to simplify some parts of our code and also handle situations where we might have a nil object, but still want to proceed with some kind of defaults or behavior. So in this case, we have a couple of instances where we are using the null object pattern. For example, we have an actor who is not currently signed in, and instead of showing the user's name, we're just showing guest up here. And another example on this page is where a user might have many different kinds of addresses, but we want to show the primary address of that user. If a user does not have a primary address, instead of doing a lot of different kinds of conditionals, we can handle it differently with each one of these different attributes. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.